How you doing? <laughs> Here I am standing where I normally read from my other channel, as you know, which I quite often plug here on this channel. So I won't tell you what that channel is. You probably all know it by now, but hey, I wanted to show you something here. Well, actually, I was going to mention that I do want to get back to the readings on Family Bible Time, um, but I've not been able to because of events in my life that, well, the Lord's protected me through. And I'm going to show you the most recent one, which is a little silly, actually, this one here. But then I'll get to what I'm actually going to show you. And, oh, by the way, we're going to take a tour of the the iCartoon 2 household. So you want to stick around for that class. It's a, like a show-and-tell slash, what do you call those things, uh, you know, that you used to go on when you were a kid. Field trip, yeah. So that's what we're going to do here. But first I'm going to show you this here. And, uh, well, the Whitman... This video is brought to you by the Whitman Assorted Chocolates Home of Candies. Oh, this Christmas season, give credence to the meaning of Christmas. Yeah, so actually, I'm not kidding. That's a that's a really nice cover there. But here's the thing that I want to suggest here: don't don't leave your candies in the cupboard uneaten until spring. Oh, it is it is a tasty treat, and it is very tempting. But you know, to to, to dig in. But actually, um, you know what? What I wanted to show you, I'm now saying isn't here, and I know why. Because somebody's gotten into this thing. Okay, and there's one that's gotten into it. When the poor guy looks like he had a little too much to eat. I know you can't see that very good, but that's an ant. <laughs> Something that my kid didn't see. One of my kids who came home from school, because this had like only two missing pieces at the time, and now it is missing like three, so I hope ants digest well, because one of my kids ate that thing. And, uh... Oh, by the way, did I, did I say I'm fabulously sporting my Mike Brady hairdo today? Did you notice that when I hit? I hope that camera don't fall over. All right, so anyway, I want to tell you about something that's a little more, well, not life-threatening, but certainly more of a loss, or it could have been a huge loss, actually, than than the loss of my candies to the ants and my unobservant kids. <laughs> um, anyway, so that's the most recent thing in my life. But in the last couple of weeks, I've been really wanting to get back to the Bible reading, but I haven't been able to because of car issues. Now, before I tell you the most recent thing, I want to give you a couple examples of some stuff that's happened in my life. You know that song, Angels Watching Over Me by Amy Grant? She talks about, you know, the... I think I mentioned this in my Honda video a couple years ago, and, and this does relate to my Honda van once again. But, you know, it talks about a wayward car that, you know, runs out of gas just before it hits a person or something, you know. And those are the kind of things that one day in heaven we're going to get a whole boatload of those things. The Lord's going to show us, you know, that time that you got that flat and you're really bummed. Well, there was a huge tractor-trailer accident down the road that you'd have been involved in. If, you know, that wouldn't, that, or you lost your keys or, or something like that, you know, that just holds you up. Well, I had some interesting things happen in my life, and I'll mention like three of them before I get to the most recent. You know, one time I was dropping my daughter off when she was a little kid at my mom's house. I'm driving down the road, and all of a sudden a ball appears from out behind the car. And it was like, ooh, one of those proverbial little kid's going to be following it kind of thing. And, well, I had this creepy notion. I thought, what if, you know, so I slowed up before I saw any kid, of course, but... I thought, what if a kid ran out and you went to hit your brakes, and right at that point you lost your brakes? I mean, your, your brake fluid all squirted out, your caliper or something, and that's an awful thought, isn't it? But I, nonetheless, I, you know, I had that thought for some reason. That day, after I picked up my daughter and went back to the trailer park where we lived, and I was pulling in the driveway of our trailer, I would once in a while with my little daughter when she was dozing off or I needed to get her out or whatever, you know, when she just a little squirt. You know, do this kind of deal where you're coming to a stop really slowly. You know, you're just kind of, you know, like you do it at a stoplight once in a while. You kind of drift in a little bit. Then just hit the brake. And everybody jerks in the car and it kind of shocks everybody. Well, I did that with my daughter that afternoon in the driveway of our trailer. And right when I did it, the brake pedal went to the floor. And it was like, wow. I was the one surprised at that time. And uh, but bless God, it happened right in my driveway. I mean, there's been there's been more no times really that I can remember. There's there was a time where I was doing a job at a school from doing my caricature work, and I pull up to the school, and just as I was parking, my clutch went out on my old what year was that thing? 1987 
Toyota Celica. No, it wasn't in 87. It's a 79. Yeah, I got it in 87. So um, this old 79 Toyota Celica lost its clutch pedal right when I pulled into the spot where I was parking. More recently, within the last couple of years, my my stepdad gave me his his gold uh, Mercury Sable. And I, that's on one of my videos, too. A New York City Scripture Blitz video. You can see it in the background. Not that it matters, but... I was pulling into my driveway here and coming around the sharp portion of my driveway when all of a sudden, I mean, I realized I was taking the driveway a little too fast, the corner. Once again, I had one of those kind of notions of losing the brakes. But I, I was slowed up, you know, enough to take the corner, still maybe a little too fast. I didn't spike the brakes or put pressure on them. What happened was I come up the driveway and I hear something clunk underneath my car. It was like I run over a stick and it jumped up and bit my brake line. So by the time I got to the end of my driveway, I did have no brakes. Fortunately, I wasn't still going too fast, or I went through my drive, my garage door. But anyway, <laughs> true story. But you know, I looked at the brake line because I had to replace the thing, and, and there was a very small spot that was all rusted out. Wouldn't you know the stick hit that? But really, the point is, the Lord protected me through that. I got to get the phone for a second here. Hello. Hi. Okay. Hi. Okay. I gotta go. Okay. Bye. The wife. She's getting me the replacement for what I'm going to show you. <laughs> She's got it, actually. Okay, so this is what I'm going to show you now. This is what happened most recently, and then you're going to get the tour and everything. But I want to show you this. Turn the light back on. Let you see this. This here is a fan to a 1999 Honda Odyssey. Um, here's the fan uh, motor underneath to it. Usually set in this housing of this big shroud kind of a thing. And... Um, I had to cut that all the way. I'll show you that when we head on down to my garage. But this thing was sitting all cockeyed. Let me if I turn the light off here. It was sitting a little cockeyed. And you can see why. Because this thing is kind of trying to bust its way out of the, sh the uh, fan. The, or the fan was busting off of, of the, uh, the funky little gear there. And, uh, and it was sitting cockeyed. But, but more so, this is what I was noticing. When I was driving down... Well, by the way, I made this video of, uh, I, I fixed this uh, belt tensioner pulley on my van, because the van sounded like a, like an old tractor, you know, the whole thing was going, chur, 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 and it had been bugging us for quite some time. And so anyways, I, uh, I take the, uh, I changed that thing and I made a video of it. And so you're going to be seeing that in the coming days. Real exciting, huh? But anyway, nonetheless, is part of this whole deal. Okay, well, there's a lot of stuff that's really tied into this that would really make it quite amazing of how... I was going up to pick up a couple of tires that I needed for that. I got off of Craigslist. And I was up near a buddy's house who works on Hondas. And and not long before that, I'd start hearing this chirping noise, you know, in, in the motor. Well, that's actually why we both thought it was the uh, belt tensioner. And and that there was a problem with that thing. I changed it. You'll see that video. But after I got it all fixed, there was still this... Once in a while. It wasn't a consistent noise, so, you know, these are the worst things. You can't pinpoint what the heck it is, because... And I'm sorry I said heck for some of those of you that are offended by that. But I couldn't fi figure out what it was. So, just this last week, um, well, it was the end of last... No, it was the earlier this week. Now, I can't remember where I am, because uh, I've been working on this thing for some time. <laughs> um, the thing became very consistent. It was... <laughs> And along with that, a rumble, 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 rumble. I mean, really bad gravelly kind of growl, and, and I felt the vibration, and I mean, I thought the transmission was going out. Well, I turned on the key. I called a friend of mine, and I said, man, you want to hear that noise I was telling you about? It's going all the time. Now, I clicked the key on before I even turned the engine over, and I hear the graveling, grumbling, and the, the squeaking. I was like, oh, I didn't turn the key on. My buddy says, maybe it's a radiator fan. Yeah. I remembered some time back there was a chirping when I turned the van off and the fan was still going. At that point, it was like, well, that turned into a, you know, a little once in a while kind of a squally noise. It was always when I was slowing down, too, so that's actually an indication. If you have a problem when you're slowing down, check your radiator fan because that usually kicks on when you're slowing down. That's when your vehicle's not getting air from driving. And Well, anyways, here's the chirping noise I was hearing. See, when I turn this... So you can imagine when that thing's spinning. 
lickety split, you know, the kind of noise it would be making. Well, here's the amazing thing. This didn't just totally bust off and fly into my radiator because that would have wrecked my radiator. But I'm going to show you something now even more amazing as I leave that there and we head on down. We head on down to <laughs> who knows where. And I'll show you the rest of the story. So now, here we go down the mulberry bush and then around the corner and down over here. And Hey, who ate the candy? I mean, you, huh? Did you eat the candy? Did you eat the candy? What candy? The candy that was sitting there? Oh. There was ants in it. <laughs> now we're going down through the valley of the shadow of death. Actually, I had that light turned off because I, I had this all planned out. So now somebody's probably turned off my garage light. No, they have not, in fact. So, let me... Oh, hey, look. For a limited time, on video, let me show you this. If you want to do this kind of a job and you get a Honda service manual, this is all you have to do. You got to take that off because you have to take the battery out first. Then you got to take off that bracket. You got to remove that bunch of wiring harness. You got to take out the tray that the battery sits on. There it is there. And then you got to move some cables here. You got to disconnect some hoses, which, you know, I actually have to disconnect the bottom hoses. But take off that bracket and there you go. The fans magically jump out. Oh, well, it's not quite like that. You actually have to remove a little bit more. So There's even stuff underneath it I'm not showing you that you have to take off in order to get to the stuff underneath. So it's not quite that simple, but here's where we are now with no light. That's where we're at. Okay, so much for planning. I thought I had this all set up. Okay, let me go plug this in. Get a little more light on the subject here. Okay, now, now we're getting more to the point somewhat of this video, but a couple more distractions along the way. Look, okay, I gotta back up and tell you. I gotta tell you that. I was at a, um, a, a junkyard here, local junkyard. I, I'm just kind of giving you the, the back and forth kind of, you know, joys and pains of working on vehicles. But I'm gonna turn this positive because it also has something to do with the Christian life and, um, you know, how you go through these times of, victory and then right away what well, what was the point of that you know it's like that didn't accomplish or turn into what i thought it was gonna you know you thought it was gonna be something good and happy because something good happened i mean that happened a lot with when i was working with my mom when she before she passed on um but you know there were times where it was like oh that's that's great oh I mean, it's like when she went in the nursing home and then like right away we kind of realized well this this ain't the best deal and it was back and forth like that throughout the whole thing. Well, anyway, same kind of thing here. Let me just show you a couple things here. I got these couple of parts here at a local junkyard. Well, here's what was the victory, supposedly, of it. Was that um, Buddy and I, there was only one Honda Odyssey at the, at the junkyard. I know I've told you this story before. When I got those coil packs and made a video about those things, and there was only one Honda Odyssey down there, and I replaced my coil packs. That video is on YouTube here, too. I don't remember what it's called, but now there's a different Honda Odyssey down there. I thought, praise the Lord, there's an Odyssey. I can fix my fan. I didn't still show you something else that was going on with that guy, but anyway, back to this. Get down to the junkyard. There's the van. Oh, no. It, it, the engine's all sitting cockeyed out of the thing. There's no radiator. There's no nothing. So we're thinking, oh, man, fat chance anybody was nice enough to take that radiator out gently and put it in the vehicle. Well, that's exactly what somebody did. And on the back side, well, first I saw the radiator laying there. And then I'm thinking, oh, no, it doesn't have the fans. Flipped the thing over. There's the fans. Took them off. Got them here. Took this all apart. Go to stick them back in, but you can see immediately. This is the, the, the AC condenser. Now, you can see that that thing ain't the same size as that thing. That's like a toy compared to this one. Look at this one. This one here is the radiator fan. And look at the housing of the thing, that, of that fan I was showing you in, in the reading room there. That that went in there. I cut off all the fins so I could get that thing out of this little area. Okay. 
So there's a problem. There's also a problem here. Look at look how close these tabs are together, and look how far apart those are. They are not going to fit in this spot on those nubs. They are too far apart. So nonetheless, this is not the right thing. See, there's the nubs that don't fit. There's two thingies on the bottom of my condenser fan. There's only one there. Okay, well anyway, this is from Honda Prelude. Anybody got a Honda Prelude and need some fans? I'll sell them to you real cheap. Wink, wink. Okay, well anyway, <laughs> they, I, I guess they are supposedly supposed to fit on a 99 Odyssey, but I don't know how to do it. So I'm, I'm getting the parts. That's what my wife called me up to tell me but we, she got one of the fans here. Well, I want to show you this. Now here we're at the point of the video. Really. I heard the squeakity squeak, I didn't know what it was. The day that I heard the squeakity squeak and it kept going, kept going, while I was also hearing the rumbly rumbly, this is what was going on there. Look at this thing. Look at how she broke. If it weren't for that little, like, type of nut that it is, with that little, that little lip on it, this thing would have flown right off and ruined my radiator. But this, this is the really cool and amazing thing. Not only did I finally, once and for all, figure out or know absolutely what the problem was. I had another problem at the same time, which was <laughs> of only the Lord's doing, because just to consider this, okay, I mean, I had to think of all these things because, you know, I went through the time of, yay, there's the radiator fans, and we got it all apart, and then, oh no, they aren't the right ones. I can take those back and get a refund. I have broke down and bought new ones um, from a buddy of mine who can get good deals because he's a works on cars. Um, but here's the thing. Let's just say I figured out that that one fan was messed up and I replaced it and went through all this work. It would have been no time at all before Mr. AC compressor fan <laughs> broke like it did and I'd be doing it all over again. So the Lord allowed these things to bust the cage at the same time to save me some work. <laughs> now, we're out of vehicle and we're having to rent a car and all those kind of things, so that's... But the Lord will provide. And I really make this video just to kind of encourage you that if you are going through times of this trial of, you know, things going good and then next thing... Why did that happen? I thought it was all supposed to be good. Hold on! Just had a kind of a carnal notion. You know the song, Hold on, I'm coming. Hold on, I'm coming. <laughs> Think about that with the Lord. The Lord is coming back. Oh, and uh, we're going to be <laughs> squeezing myself out of the garage there. We're going to be uh, seeing the sun, the Son of God, coming down through the clouds with power and glory. And uh, we're going we're gonna to be all right. I want to show you one more thing and ask you a question. This will be kind of a test to see if you sat through my whole video. I got these cool Father's Day flowers a few years back. And every year they keep producing more plants and more, more buds. This year we're up to three on each plant. Well, I think this was the original plant. It's got three. Actually, this one's got two. But it's very tall compared to the others. These things normally grow really big, but because we're in the shade, I guess, they don't grow too big here. But anyways, something's eating my butt, my plants. Look at that one. It got all ate up. That one got all ate up. And this one's getting eat up. And look, there's a, maybe that's the culprit. That, that ant. It's the ants again. My golly. <laughs> well, anyways, if you happen to know what you can put on these things to, I can't tell you what they're called. I don't remember. Some sort of lilies, but um, I like to preserve those. So anyway, that reminds me also, I'm going to make a video, Lord willing, about some stuff that happened with some, um, with some daylilies of mine um, down the road and um, so I'm going to be making a video like that soon too. Man, this turned into a 20 minute long video. I'm real sorry about that, but um, once again, I bless the Lord for how he, how he protected us, took care of us, didn't cause that radiator fan, allow that radiator fan to blow up on me and cause more of a problem there, and most of all, how he's given me protection. I didn't ever tell you, but the way that all transpired, it happened just before I was, I was, I was dropping off some things at a thrift store, and uh, it was like right before I got there, and I was able to pull in the thrift store parking lot, Parker, like she was dead, 
he'll bring the let the tow truck man come and take her away. So uh, now we're over 20 minutes. So I appreciate you stopping by. Thanks. Thanks for coming by. I really appreciate all of you folks that, that subscribe and watch these videos.